Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and it has been a while since I've been here so I wanted to come out and see if there's anything new in the park, try some of the spooky snacks that they have for Halloween and then also any other cool spooky themed entertainment that they have. So we're going to meet up with some friends, eat some food, ride some rides and have a cozy Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Look at how beautiful it is out today. Temperatures in the high 70s and I'm excited to see if the park is busy at all. So we'll check the wait times and hopefully we can get on some rides today. On top of just hanging out in the park with friends, I also got dining reservations at Hollywood and Vine and it's also a mini seasonal dine. So it's a Halloween themed buffet with all of your favorite characters, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, they're all going to be there dressed up in their uh, costumes and I'm excited. This is one of my favorite things to do today. Our reservation for Minnie's Halloween dine isn't for at least two hours so we'll have to come back but I'm excited excited to take you guys. I come every single season and it's always fun to go trick-or-treating with Minnie and her friends. Look, naturally says it right there. Come trick-or-treating with Minnie and her friends. Since our reservation isn't for a couple of hours, we might as well go ride rides now and then save the restaurant for the end of the video. That's probably what I'm going to do, just start making my way down Sunset. I think I'm going to start by making my way down to the Tower of Terror. I would love to ride uh, the Tower of Terror first today because like, it's like such a perfect spooky ride. Wow, I feel like I made a huge mistake by coming to Hollywood Studios today. Look at the Tower of Terror has a 115 minute wait. 115 minutes. I wonder what the other rides are looking like, like what the wait times are for the other attractions. I think it's very busy today at Hollywood Studios because there's a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tonight and uh, Magic Kingdom closes at 6 so nobody wants to go to the Magic Kingdom when it closes at 6. I wouldn't. Like unless I was staying for the party I feel like spending the whole day there is kind of pointless. Now even though as you get closer to the party itself like around like 3 p.m. to say 5 p.m. There's hardly any waits. The other day I went there and I rode four rides in just an hour. I posted the video like uh, two videos ago. Uh, but like for a whole day, like on a family vacation, I would come to one of the other parks. So that's why it's super busy today. And I might have to buy uh, Genie Plus, maybe. This honestly might be one of the busiest days I have ever seen at Hollywood Studios. It is 2.20 in the afternoon. Rock and Roller Coaster has a 150 minute wait. No uh, lightning lanes available. Slinky Dog Dash, 155 minute wait. No lightning lanes available. Star Tours has a 40 minute wait. I could get a lightning lane, but I think that's the only one. Oh yeah, Rise of the Resistance, 110 minutes. No lightning lanes. Toy Story, 90 minutes. Look at that. Oh wow, what the heck? Did we just get lied to? This Literally the sign just said 115 minute wait and now it says 30 minutes. Wait, should I buy this? Holy moly, I gotta buy this. Look at that. I bought the Genie Plus because I was excited to ride uh, the uh, Tower of Terror and then when I went to go book the Lightning Lane, it's gone. Gone. Gone baby, gone. Looks like we're scrapping the GD Plus. <laughs> I can't really purchase anything with it. There's, a, there's no availability. I mean, we can do Star Tours, but I believe I've been gotcha'd. I've been gotcha'd. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Something's not right here today. Because everything says, I mean, there's tons of people. You can just see there's crowds of people everywhere. But... It looks like there's no line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I don't know what to believe anymore. Who are we? What am I made for? Look at that. It says 55 minutes. But like the queue is completely indoors. So I have a feeling it's just going to be a walk on. I would say that there's a little bit of weight inside uh, the building itself, inside the theater, but uh, not no 55 minute wait, maybe 10, maybe 20 minutes at the most.
Testing, testing. Well, that was awesome. I mean, we didn't start off the day riding Tower of Terror, but I like Mickey and Minnie's Run Away Railway. I think it's a great ride, and it's even better when you don't have to wait for it. Always check the queues, even though they could be deceiving sometimes. I know a lot of times that wait times are inaccurate and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, just check the queues. That's the best way to do it. And when I mean check to cues, I mean get familiar with how they look when they're full with the times. I guess it's because I come here so much, and I'm not the only person that says this. I feel like it's like a kind of an annual pass holder, local, or even just a Disney fan where you can look at a queue and be like, nah, that's not 15. Nah, that's not 55 minute waits. You just know, you know? It's kind of funny because I wanted to come here today and show you guys all of the Halloween like snacks and activities because uh, Halloween is just a couple days away. Well, three weeks away, but uh, they already started with the Christmas stuff. Like there's Christmas merchandise and some Christmas decorations around the park. And I'm like, wow, holy moly. Like we didn't even finish Halloween yet. And I'm not talking about like Christmas ornaments or like a Christmas store that's year round. I'm talking about like the five and ten. Look at this. They're like all the way ready to go for Christmas. They have a spirit jersey, backpacks, tree toppers. The wall over there is filled. They even have ears. Look at that. And it's October 9th. What do you guys think? Is it too early for Christmas? Look, even Crocs. You guys tell me what you think. Is it too soon for the Christmas merchandise or was it too soon for all of the Halloween activities? I mean, I'm just a fan of holidays in general. In fact, I wish that we could have like holidays weekly instead of yearly, you know what I mean? Instead of waiting a year, we could just like, like rotate all of the holidays that we love and have one every single week. I think that would be fun, but that's not realistic. Well, since the app was telling us the wait time for Tower of Terror was uh, only 30 minutes, but the lightning lanes were sold out, figured I'd walk back down here just to see what it's like again, and hopefully we can ride. If not, I wanna get some of the Halloween snacks that they have from over here. But this is a good look at what the crowds are like. You can actually see how busy it is here. Sadly, it still looks like the Tower of Terror is a long wait, though it did go down a little bit. It's 90 minutes now, but that's 90 minutes too long. And uh, I'm gonna grab one of these pumpkin patch cookies from Fairfax Fair, look at that. A pumpkin spice snickerdoodle topped with pumpkin spice buttercream and pumpkin candies. That sounds perfect, pumpkinly perfect.
on top of my pumpkin patch cookie i'm also gonna get a cup of enchantment cranberry and passion fruit orange guava juices topped with yellow shimmering and strawberry boba pearls i honestly feel like today has just been so random like there wasn't a lot of time in between all of my shots. So like I came in, walked down to the Tower of Terror, saw that it was this crazy long wait, walked up, went over to Star Wars Launch Bay, uh, went to go see if Darth Vader, well, Darth Vader was there, and then uh, hopped into Mickey and Minnie's Runaway uh, Railway, and it was a walk-on. So 55 minutes, no wait, and then it went from 150 minutes down to 30 minutes, and then said 90 minutes. I'm so confused, like that all took place within maybe 20 minutes. But here are my delicious little snacks. A cup of enchantment. I just like the way that sounds. And then the pumpkin patch cookie. I think they had this last year because I remember not liking those pumpkin candies too much. But I don't know. Maybe I did like them. I have to go back and look. But uh, yeah, let's dive in a little bit. Maybe we'll start with uh, some enchantment. All right, here we go. Time to dive into the pumpkin cookie. Mmm. This is such a soft little cookie. It's actually falling apart. I'm afraid it's gonna, like it, it, it's easily breakable. Like look at that. It's so good. I like it a lot. And I don't like the cream as much though, but the cookie itself is the perfect taste and texture. And now it's time to dive into uh, a cup of enchantment. You know, it's just like I always say, the best way to enjoy a pumpkin cookie is with a cup of enchantment. So cheers. It's funny, the only thing I can taste in there is the pog juice. And I, I mean, it's just, it, it's a very nice refreshing drink. I don't think they meant this for like Halloween season. Uh, I think it's just kind of like on the menu, but it's new, but I like it a lot. I would get this again just to kind of cool off and have a refreshing drink at Hollywood Studios. This might be my go-to. Even though it is really busy out today, I mean, there's no other place I'd rather be. You know what I mean? Like, even a bad day at Disney is still a good day. That's what I always tell people. Like, just coming here and just getting up and getting ready makes you just feel so happy. I still feel that way, and I come hundreds of times a year. And uh, they used to be able to tell you exactly how many times you can come to the park with your annual pass. Like, they'll actually tell you how many times you scanned in. And I think one year I was here like a hundred and some times within one year. 100 and some visits in one year. Isn't that impressive? I feel like uh, I'm happy about that. It's a cool thing. Look at this, guys. I can't get anything. No lightning lanes are available. None offered. There's one available at 8.30. No Rise of the Resistance. There's still Star Tours. And we can ride it right now. Should we just do it? I might as well. We're doing it. Well, at least I get to use my Genie uh, Plus for something today. Lightning laning it. Lightning laning it on Star Tours. The adventure continues. If this is the only ride we get to ride today with our Genie Plus, then uh, we just paid $24 to skip this line here. Kind of worth it though, I guess, but not $24, but to skip the line. If I got to do more, then it would be worth it, but I'm kind of happy I got the lightning lane for this right now, because I've never seen Star Tours this backed up. In a very long time, I haven't seen it like this. I hope that maybe I might become the rebel spy. Who knows? You never know. But uh, I like the way these glasses look. Very fancy. These are property of Walt Disney World, though. I just want you to know that the wait time from this point is currently 75 minutes. I'm just kidding, huh? You should have seen your face. They try to run the court. I think it's gonna be moving. Looks like we got a full tour today, except for that guy. He didn't make it. Uh, excuse me, you don't seem to understand. I am not the captain. I am C-3PO. 1401, click for takeoff. Contact departure on frequency 429. Wait! Wait! I knew it! Oh! You dare to be boarded, Captain. I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. I am C-3PO. We know you have this level of spy. I've never seen that human before. <laughs> don't underestimate my power. Yes. 
desperate hour. Help me stop tours. You're my only hope. Her only hope. What do you mean? We'll be making a slight detour. Any help would be appreciated. We are picking up some strange readings. Stay close. We I am so happy that we got to ride Star Tours. I really do love that ride, and at least I didn't waste my Genie Plus. I mean, I only got to use it on one ride, but who knows, the day's not over. And now I want to uh, make my way over to Baseline and meet up with my friends and talk to you about uh, uh, what I was talking about before. I announced that I was coming to New York City to do a meet and greet at New York Comic Con, uh, but tickets sold out all day on Saturday. I was only gonna go there Saturday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., uh, and uh, the tickets are sold out, so I was still gonna do that but because some people can't get in I also wanted to tell you about Mosh Eisley because I'm gonna be going there later on that night and that is a Star Wars emo punk party so it's where your favorite bands and content creators uh, come together and it's Star Wars and some amazing music there's gonna be bands like uh, uh, people from Bayside's gonna be there yellow card story of the year some of the content creators are gonna be princess and scoundrel uh, uh, thank the maker the Mosh Isley crew themselves the Dano channel and uh, Hondo supply they're all gonna be there and I'm gonna be there so I'll put a, a link uh, if you want to come out and say hi I'll be in the main area there dancing and listen to the music and we're gonna go meet up with them and I'll let them tell you more about it here are my friends you know for people that don't know what Mosh Eisley is tell us what it is well you've been to a few of them yes but, uh, we all come from uh, a world of loving Star Wars and uh, and cosplaying and also we have a love for emo and punk rock music so what we did we created a party where the worlds collide we throw a basically, uh, if you're familiar with an emo night, we're playing all Paramore, Fall Out Boy, My Cam, all of those uh, types of bands. Everyone dresses up however they want. Star Wars, cosplay, a lot of our, uh, our, our fans have started to make their own punk rock emo outfits uh, inspired by Star Wars, which is great. And then we all party. I love that. People bring lightsabers. And when is it? Lightsabers. It when is, is it? October 14th. Where is it? At the Gramercy Theater. You can get tickets at MoshEisley.com. Where's that though? Where's what? It's Gramercy in New York. Theater. There we go. It's in New York! York. <laughs> we didn't say that far yet. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're all going to be there, so come on, say hi. Trust me, the show is so fun, and this I think is my third one, my third one in just a year, and I'll put a link uh, so if you guys want to buy tickets, and I would love to see some of you guys there, it's like prime like happiness for me, because I'm having so much fun listening to music, there's lightsabers, it's, it's really like a lot of fun, and like when I do these meet and greets and stuff like that uh, at the uh, Comic Cons, I don't charge anybody for anything, I just go there because, uh, like I said, I want to visit cool places, and since I'm friends and I work together with Roosevelt's, they're just like, hey, we're doing the, you know, all the cons this year. So any of them you want to come to, let us know. And we'd love to have you just come hang out at the booth. And I've been doing that, having the best time ever. I got to see the world and share it with you guys. And I want to thank you guys for watching because it's been amazing. And it's going to keep on being amazing. So... Now, let's go get something to eat, and uh, don't forget, I'll put all the information in the description, and probably pin a comment, uh, so, you know, maybe I get to see some of you. But yeah, let's go get something to eat. Time for a Hollywood and Vine. All right, here is the menu for the Hollywood and Vine, and uh, the mini seasonal dine really doesn't change the food. Like, for the different holidays, it's always the same food, except for the desserts. They do change the desserts every once in a while, and it's $59 a person, $30 dollars for children three to nine and it always starts off with this cool little photo opportunity that they have right here and you can see uh, Mickey and oh there's Pluto right there but you'll see Mickey and Minnie just walking around in their costumes oh I see 
Mickey right over there, you see him? He's got one ear hanging out. It's kind of like he's hiding right now. And then Minnie's over there. So we're gonna dive in, get some food. I'll show you guys around a little bit. Soft drinks are included in the uh, $59 price. Uh, so I got a Sprite, but you could get cocktails if you want. And then the characters are just gonna come right up to the table. They'll come uh, right up and say hi to you. And this place is my favorite character dining. I always say it. The characters here are just so extra special. I love it. They're so fun. Oh, look at Pluto. <laughs> It's kind of loud in here, so I'm sure the microphone's not picking up the music, but it's really awesome Halloween music, and that's why everyone's dancing around. And they, use, they usually do this dance show, I think like once an hour, where they kind of just go dancing around the whole entire restaurant. Ah, those dance moves, Goof. Those are the moves. <laughs> Oh, nice seeing you there, pal. Happy Halloween, I like your costume. I hope Maxie is uh, dressing up like uh, Powerline. Yep, that is too cool. Oh, it's nice to see ya. What are you, a skeleton cowboy? <laughs> yep, that's what I'm going with. There are two sides to the buffet and they are identical except for the carving meats. They usually have two different types of meats. Uh, so this side they have uh, uh, the uh, strip loin and then on the other side it's either turkey or it's going to be uh, some kind of pork. Uh, usually they mix it up. But uh, yeah, I'll show you a little bit around more. Here is some of the buffet. They've got sour cream and chives potatoes. Some nice fancy mashed potatoes. Then they've got some salmon with uh, miso glaze and wasabi cream. They've got uh, some baked marinated chicken, some caramelized Brussels sprouts, which I love. Ooh, I love these olive oil crushed potatoes. These are just crushed baked potatoes. Then we've got some tofu, some broccoli, some risotto. Oh, the broccoli and carrots look good. Some uh, rice right here. And then on this side, we have pot roast with vegetables, Mexican street corn, Roasted butternut squash, you don't say. Uh, roasted pork with spicy mustard sauce. Macaroni and cheese with shrimp and bacon. And then barbecue meatballs. Oh, those meatballs look good. Oh, and then they got the strip loin too. I might be getting some of that later on. For the kids section, they've got corn dog nuggets, tater tots, little penne pasta with marinara. Ooh, they brought out the roasted turkey. Yeah, that's what I'm all about. And then the gravy there. Also, they have some nice bread service, like focaccia bread, a nice salad bar with all of the fixins, and then uh, soup, lots of soup. They've got chicken noodle soup, which looks pretty good, vegetable chili, and then uh, some uh, variety of fresh fruit. A variety of fresh fruit, except for watermelon. Oh, and peel and eat shrimp. I didn't even see them over there in the corner there. I kind of like that. Well, I prepared a plate to my liking and it looks so good. I got a little bit of everything. I'm not gonna go into deep detail because I tried a lot of this food before, but I will touch base on some of the items that I love and talk about the desserts later on. My plate looks so colorful. It's got green and red peppers, it's got squash, we've got uh, some uh, smashed potatoes, some roasted turkey, and some Brussels sprouts. Also, I tried the baked chicken because it looked really good. But uh, yeah, ready to dive in. Goof, uh, Goofy just stopped by, now he's signing some autographs over there. Pluto should be around the corner, but they're all come by. I'm just afraid of uh, eating something because they might come by when I have my mouth full. It's funny because I always joke whenever you come to like a character buffet. I mean, a lot of times I come because I just love seeing characters and stuff like that. But uh, I'm always afraid of eating my food because I might miss them. You know what I mean? They might walk by and or I'm talking with my mouth full. And that has happened like many a times before. But I want to dive into this turkey here first. So we're going to drive into the turkey. I'm going to grab some of that and uh, some of the sweet potatoes. Hmm. Yo, this is so good. I mean, look at this meal. Like, I really appreciate, like, 
just the, 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 uh, the variety there. And also, I wanted mashed potatoes, but they only had sour cream mashed potatoes on the buffet. And I was like, oh, I don't like sour cream. And they actually made me mashed potatoes without sour cream in it. How awesome. I didn't even ask. I just said I didn't like it. And he was like, hold on. And they came back out. And uh, now I got mashed potatoes. Some of my favorite food items here have to be the turkey. The turkey is so good. I remember when they didn't have the buffet and they were just uh, serving like uh, entrees, uh, just meals. I would get the turkey dinner every single time. And then also, I always love those potatoes, those crushed potatoes and the, the uh, what you would call it, the uh, sweet potatoes. Those are actually pretty good too. Enough of the buffet. It's time to get to the dessert. So I guess it's still a buffet But uh, as you can see they've got a creme brulee cheesecake in the back there They've got peanut butter and jelly tarts and then a carrot cake cupcake with cream cheese icing And then look at all of the pumpkin decorations over there And what I've been waiting for the seasonal bread pudding. I'm not too sure what it is But it looks like it's cinnamon roll. I see raisins so that tells me something, but I, I like getting a nice little spot right here. This is the spot. That's the one. All right, here we go. Let's get into this seasonal bread pudding. They said it's a leftover of all of their breakfast pastries. So their cinnamon rolls, their danishes, everything. And they mix it all together. That's what their like uh, base uh, uh, specialty like uh, bread pudding is. But I'm excited to try it. So here we go. Go, go. Oh! Oh, you're the best. Thank you. Oh. That just made my day, and now she's going over there. Oh, well, that was great. Wow. Oh, and the man himself is here, Mickey Mouse. Look at that. I love your uh, costume. I like the spiders. I like the bats. I like everything. You look very spooky, but very pleasant or happy happy spooky I, I feel like that's the way to put it yes <laughs> thank you oh. well it's been amazing here Minnie is doing a great job she uh, uh it's it's literally oh there she is right there oh ah. <laughs> wow way to make me melt that was great you guys you warm my heart <laughs> i love it wow that was beautiful <laughs> Bye guys, have a great one. <laughs> the bread pudding was white chocolate cranberry and it was amazing. I loved it, it was so good. And now I wanna try the Mississippi mud pie. Mississippi mud pie. That's not a song. I feel like I just made it one though. Hi Minnie, thank you so much for the seasonal dine. Fantastic, you're the best. Oh, and I love your outfit. Yeah, very nice, very bewitching. <laughs> Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Like, honestly, the characters at Hollywood and Vine, they just take it another level. Like, the dancing, the interactions, they spend good quality time at every single table, and I just appreciate it here. It, it, Minnie, is, Minnie is the best. This is her seasonal dine, and she is the star of the show. And with that, I think we are done here today. Dinner at Hollywood and Vine was amazing, and the characters, they are always simply the best. That is why I say it's my favorite character dining. It's not about the food in there, literally. I, I go there just to interact with the characters. That's how much I love it. Um, but yeah, even though we didn't get a lot done today, I still had an amazing time, and I'm glad that we got to go over Mosh Isley. So October 14th, if anybody's in New York City and want to come say hi, you can see me uh, two different spots all on the same day. I'll be at uh, New York Comic Con at the Roosevelt's booth from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then later on that night, 11 p.m. at Mosh Isley. I'll put all of the information in the description and I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making. Also, uh, I'm gonna be uh, traveling uh, to New York City and then I'm actually traveling somewhere else very special uh, very, very soon. So I'm gonna have some videos in between and I have a very, very 
very cool video that I cannot wait to show you. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I talked about it, but this video has been taking me a while to put together only because I want to make it perfect. So I can't wait for it to come out. And trust me, when it comes out, you'll know. Like, you'll know that's the one he's been talking about. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. There she is. The princess is here. Woo. Gracie, how's the balloon doing? Still up there? Still up there. Where'd you go, Gracie?